Hello, today we're going to be looking at Smart Notebooks Smart Response 2. This feature allows you to create assessments that you can push out to nearly any device for your students to take. It's very simple to use and very intuitive. So let's just get right into it and take a look and see how this works. Okay, first thing you're going to need to do is have Smart Notebook open. Once it is open, simply come up here to Smart Response 2. It looks like a goldenrod colored box with a white check in it. Click on that. Once it opens, you have your choices. Right here are the types of questions that are there for multiple choice, true, false, multiple answer, poll opinions, and short answer. The other buttons you will see are over here. You have load content. What this would let you do is go out and search for a test that's already been made. Um, in this case, I could load this one, test on George Washington, but I'm going to make one so you can see it. And what we will do is go ahead and start. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and start right here with the first question, multiple choice. We're going to work with George Washington to make this simple. All right. Who was the first president of the United States? Simply come down here, enter your question, your answers in. Donald Trump, Abe Lincoln, Barack Obama. And then George. Select the right answer. Click on Add Question, Move On. It moves you on. If you accidentally click on Next, what happens is it moves you towards ending the test and starting it for the students to take it. Don't worry about that. You can always hit on Previous if you do that and go back. Now, what we're going to take and do is we're going to look at a different question. We're going to, real quick, we'll do the true and false question. George Washington was in the French Indian War. We'll go ahead and leave that true as it's marked. Add another question. This will be a multiple answer question. This way you can take and have more than one right answer. We're going to go George lived in blank and his home was named blank. Here, put the answers in and see the hermitage coming down here, Virginia and Mount Vernon. Go ahead and click on the two right ones, move the wrong right there, and then we'll click on Add Question. Next question we'll create is a poll opinion. Was George Washington a good president? At this point, the students have given the choices for the poll. Yes, no, I don't know. Click on Add Question, Move Along. And as you can see, it doesn't give you anything to mark for correct answers. Since this is a poll or opinion, there are no correct answers. We will click Add Question. And the last question that you can do is a short answer. So I will put in who was George Washington wife. 
If you do an open answer, it means they can put in anything and it won't grade it. With this one, we want to take and have it look specifically for a right answer. So we will put in Martha. And click on next since we're through. Before clicking on, I'll show you some things right up here. This is where you can load in the test. We saw that at the beginning. You do have this that comes up. We can go ahead and save this. And you can go ahead and click this and delete everything you've done. One thing I also advise you to do is to save this template as you created it. And by doing that, all you have to do is go to File. Oh, While well, this is up. In this mode, we can't save it, so we'll click on Next. This will aid review. Put in your title. Add your instructions. And once you've done this, you click on finish because you are finished. And it will create the smart lab. And there it is. One thing about when you get to this point, the advised link is coming up here to file, save as, give this a name. I'm just going to take and go ahead and Call it Georgian Review right there, replace that one. Save. And it saves that, and now you've got it. So you don't have to worry about losing it. Okay, when this comes up, this is telling your class they will need to go to classlab.com and they will need to enter this number. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my class lab. As you can see, I was already in it playing. Let me go ahead and get it out. Okay, class lab right here. Um, we're looking for this since I've been here before. It has my class ID up there, so if I was a student and I was returning, I can go to it. It asked me to put in my name. I'm going to go back, and we are going to pretend that I'm a new student so you can see what they go through. Enter a new student, and I'm going to put in 6603, which is that. But first part of class code, second part was 0234. That would put you in my class. I click on enter. I can put in a name. Luke Skywalker, and I'm going to join the class. Alright, when this comes up, it's going to tell me the activity has not been started. So, what I need to do is start the activity. To start the activity for the kids to take it, simply click on start activity. For you, it will change over to this. I'm going to go ahead and put this to a full screen view now. So you can see everything. My test started. This is everything here. For me to get everything going, I clicked on that. The activity is running. If I don't want students turning in any answers just yet. I can click on pause contributions. They can't click on answers. It won't submit. So, once I'm, we can do that, stop and talk to the kids and make sure they're paying attention. So, click on resume. And I'm going to go ahead and bring it up. Test, and I will start as the students would. All about George Washington. Complete all questions and submit. Okay. This will go through, answer the questions, and we'll click on the one, it will highlight, move to the next question by simply clicking on the arrow. And 
And as you see, it keeps moving right along. Now, as you've been doing this, we'll come back over here for a second. It's been recording where your students have moved to. So far, I have answered four out of five. If we had this up and it wasn't causing a delay, this would be filling in as we went around. So that way the students can see that easier than the numbers. But you know, over here you can see done four out of five. I'll go back and finish the test real quick. Uh, who was George Washington's wife? Martha. And once that's done, click here. This is going to open up. And I can go by clicking on any of these, I can go back and review that question. And click on information. It will give me back my directions again to make sure that I'm what I'm doing. And once you're finished with it, just click on submit all answers. It's going to ask them again. Tell them submit. Great job. At this point, this is when the teacher comes back. Let's go into full view. And she, the teacher will end the test for activity. Um, and it will come up with a review. This way you can go straight through and answer all the questions. And we're, that's showing that there were three other people in the class that didn't answer questions. We can go through. You can see it move through. It's telling us everything we need to know. While you're doing this, you can also come back over here. At any time, you can end the review or you can reset the activity. Now we've gone all the way through it. We've seen everything. We are going to end review. We'll reset the act and before I reset the activity, I'm going to come down here and I want to export the results. What this will do is it will put a file out. Um, it's a spreadsheet file. This file can be opened by Excel or by Google Sheets. So you can use either one to open it and read. The only thing you'll have to do is save it to your Google Drive so you can open it that way. But simply let it save. And you have a copy of it. And from that copy, I'll go ahead and bring up one I've already opened. You'll be able to see how everybody did. This way you can record what the students' grades are and keep it for your grade book. I highly recommend use this as a review tool. Sometimes you may not want to use Kahoot or So Creative. It all depends on what you're doing to choose the right tool for the right time. If you have any questions on this, please contact me or your school's ITR too. Thanks and have a great day.